Hey guys, back with another video with the Chiefs Fantasy Franchise. Today we're taking on the Buccaneers. They're 7-4. and four. Um, They got Ezekiel Elliott, Ronnie Stanley, and Zachary, so as you guys can see. But their QB is Cam Newton. So, I don't know. I guess we'll see what happens. But we're going to hop right into the game. Today. From Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, Florida. It's and our defense allows a few. Oh no, a punt. Yeah, so it's still 0-0. Zero, zero. Want to start our so offensive day with a run with Jonathan Taylor at their own 20-yard line. They'll run. This is Jonathan Taylor. Game of two to start off. Okay. Game of two, and it brings up second down. You can make the tackle. North of 100 yards, the two scores, and you know you got to give a lot of credit to the O line. We talked a lot about him, but offensive line was good too. They're obviously in sync with each other. Whether it's zone blocking, power running game, no matter game what, six, he understands how to read them and find two. the creases that they provide. We're just going to keep on running. I guess. Like team in terms of points scored in the NFL so when they're that high power you gotta find a way to hold them under 20 because to me that's the magic number 20 points scored gives yourself you give yourself your best chance to win so if they're up around 24 28 30 they could be in some trouble and I think so because then you turn it into a shootout and that means your offense has to keep pace Oh, down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Greg Olson was the intended target. Oh, but it'll be shoot. second down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where that, he wanted to go with the ball, but good. surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. On second down, it's Taylor. And he'll be taken down right around Game the 34 one. after a pickup of only a yard. Sometimes your process get challenged at times you don't want them to. They did try to stick to the running game on the first two plays. Didn't amount to much. And now facing a third and long at the outset of this drive. Oh, for today. So we'll have to punt it. We saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. 39 yards. Oh, they have the 25 to start their next drive out. They get a touchdown. So the Seems pretty fast. At the 25 yard line as this offense gets set to take over. A carry by Taylor to start the drive. And the result here a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Oh, my second coach and has a different outfit on. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two. They'll run the toss here with Taylor. And he is going to be stuck cold behind the line of scrimmage. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half. And I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. They'll set up the screen for Gibson. And he will Come have on, Antonio Gibson. Turn able to get the third down conversion. Now it appears we've got a chief moving pretty gingerly down there. Broken ribs. Well, the trainers take a look. Drew Brees we'll had broken ribs in real life, and he was now out for like three weeks or something. A good rally to the that's real life. This is a yard, and it's second down. One yard gain. Anything you can really happen. Brandon. The drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people. Hopefully Travis Kills is not out for two. It's Taylor. He'll probably be back for playoffs, but I don't know. Down to the 45. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the ball. I get he's not really a backup. I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. I guess he's a really good backup that's produced a lot for us this season. And able to push forward for right around three yards down to the 42. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Three-yard pickup brings up second and seven. They give the Taylor out of the gun. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. And they'll need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. Now Wilson. And he'll get this to Antonio Gibson he's, complete. He's and he is out of bounds. 
Jones, but not before he's inside the 30. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sends that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. It worked very well. Yeah, that's a pretty good catch. Manuel Sanders. As that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. The line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. They'll run with Taylor. Oh, come on. Who's that? Johnson Taylor ran right sense into him. Because they've been Literally. throwing well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing a shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Yeah, the Chiefs are going to have a first and goal eight. coming up as the tackle made at the three yard line. First a gain of four last play. They double that here and get eight. They'll look to run. John Taylor, Taylor two yard touchdown run. And we allow a field goal for them. So the we'll get it back with 6.45 left to play. As this offense gets set to take over. Flush to his right. This one caught there by Isabella. Go. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Wilson. Flushed out right. He finds his man, the tight end Olsen. Oh, wait, that was actually a game of fun. Wow. Well. 43 yard line. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. Taylor. He's probably a pretty good game, game so far. That one's a game of 15 yards on the play, first down. We really didn't have any doubt that he was going to be one of the top-rated rookies coming into the league, especially as a runner. And he's given us no reason to change our minds. That's a big-time run, and the production that he showed us in college is transitioning that a first very down? well no, into the not. National Football League. Second and inches. Uh, a lot of people have been slipping. Maybe it's been raining for a while. At the 32-yard line. Here's Taylor. And a nice run. They're going to take this close to the first down marker at the Bucks 27. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. And the first down. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. Sanders that has looked it like a first down, but it's not. Wilson's pass. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. They'll try the end around. Oh, shoot. I thought we were... I thought it was a pass. Right there as that one is going to blow up in their faces. That's going to go as a loss of seven, and it'll set them back for second down. So, two minute warning score, 10 to two 7. We are losing. But we are just score. outside of the red zone. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll send you across state to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have all the stats and all the scores from games going on during another busy Sunday in the National Football League. All right, inside the 10, I mean, I guess down, five. Inside the 5. The four. 60 catches for him now on the year. This last one, a first down. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. There we go. Touchdown. Our defense gives up a field goal. This offense ready to get back out there as they'll have the So 14 13. Start is your halftime score and start of the third quarter score. He's Jonathan Taylor having a game. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They've got the lead early here in the third quarter and runs like that are how they established that lead in the first half. I love the fact that I didn't want to keep on going back. Because they're leading from the front, pounding on the defense right now with the running game and truly establishing themselves here in the second half. And 10. On second down now, it's Taylor. He'll get about three as he's brought down right around the 42. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. On third down, Wilson. Now they 
Come on, yes. Antonio Gibson. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Marcus Robinson. Oh no. Man, he got caught up with Daniel Sanders. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? This is what made the West Coast offense a staple around the NFL in the 80s and 90s. You don't have to push the ball deep downfield to come up with big plays. And there's an Game example of, of that right there. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. And here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Brings up second and nine. From the gun, it's Taylor. And he's only going to oh, get a yard no from the game. 20 to the 19. Take it um, down a really good run defense when you're playing a third and eight. Those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, are usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because usually five It's a on pretty three. big game. And when they do their job well, it'll be first and goal from the inside, three. Those inside linebackers, they will just roam and hit. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. To throw is Wilson, sliding out of the pocket. Oh, he can't to find throw the receiver, it. and he's brought down. Oh, shit. Well, that was point counterpoint, wasn't it? They decided to throw for it on first and goal. Instead, the defense counters with pressure, and the defense wins, getting a big Get sack. Get your toes. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. I think you can easily follow the thinking there. The pressure on the last play uh, got to him, so they decided let's get him out of there, bootleg him out to the right. Unable to complete the pass downfield, but the thought process spot on. Dang it. So we're going to have to settle for a field goal. But it's incomplete. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense. These past few downs, able to knock that one away on third down. Oh, geez, that was close. But it's 17 to 13 now. Makes the score. Chiefs 17. And we get an interception or something. So it's a little bit of a out there already. An excellent field position thanks to the interception. After the interception, here's Wilson. Buying time to his left. He's going to take off with it. Everybody's we'll like sliding. Scramble, it's second down. Now how about so that play? He took the possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big Austin hit. Taylor brings it to the two. two yard line. Seven yards on the pick up there and now they've got it first and goal. First and goal at the two yard line. Jonathan Taylor brings it in for a touchdown. Two touchdowns now for him today. We are up by two scores still. No offense is getting it going, but we do. So but you know, so the final score, 34 to 13. It ended up being a blowout, but it was really break. close for a while. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No. So I'm going to play the next game too. Whatever they did in the locker room. Um, these are more. the it stats for Russell Wilson. He didn't have two very good 180 passing yards with a touchdown. This is Jonathan Taylor's stuff, so this looks half, pretty good no if you ask me. But I'll see you guys in time for the next game. So tonight, we are taking on the Broncos. I don't remember, did we? Uh, did we lose to them or beat them? I don't remember. But they have Keenan Allen. Um, so I really can remember. I didn't take a good look at it. So we already have. Oh no! We need to throw it already. No gain there on the completion. Second and ten. No gain on the play. Second and ten at the 34 yard line. Antonio Gibson gives the game up three or four. I don't know. 
Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a game considering the blitz that they just had against him. Oh, come on. Oh, did he get there? And they're going to mark him down short. Oh, no. Maybe by about a yard, if that. Give him five on the QB run, but it's going to bring up a fourth down. I'm going for it. Fullback dive. So still a Patrick game in the first, but they're right. going to go for this thing on their own side of the field on fourth down. Meeting the tough yards he got that. Game two, he's actually. Got the first down as he's up to the 45-yard line. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. Dang it. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. A loss of a yard brings up second and 11. At the 40, first carry now for the oh former Badger, Jonathan Taylor. And he we'll just keep on doing that. Behind the line of scrimmage. That'll wind up as a loss on the play. So now they're staring at a third down and 12. We're going back by one yard each. From the gun, it's Wilson. Oh, come on. I wanted a bullet catch. Intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Lewis. And they have possession. Oh. And they have it at the 30. So 7 nothing now. So they the are winning. Be at the 25 yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Oh, Emmanuel the Sanders wide this open. Is Emmanuel Sanders. Oh, I did it too easy. Inside the 35 before he goes out of bounds. Got that outstanding pick up there for the Chiefs. 44 yards. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. That is a gain of five. And Justin Coleman brings him down. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gained five yards on it, and be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to get five yards on a play Sunday night like football, so by the way. They go back to their huddle with one hip in their oh, steps. Okay. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Got an open Here we go. To big game of They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first. There we go, Jonathan Taylor. Fourth touchdown of the episode. He's really popping off in this episode. But our defense allows another touchdown, but they don't get the extra point. On first down, Gibson. To gain of one to start the drive. The stop it was the UCF product, Shaquem Griffin. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. One yard gain. Brings up second and from the shotgun. Wilson. That's Greg Olson. A gain of five. Thirty-three. Five yards on the play. To Greg Olson. The Chiefs on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and four. Wilson. Oh yes. Dang it. We got a ton of game. Ton of yards. That was a beautifully executed screen pass. Let the rushers get upfield. The blocking forms in front. Lofted it to the runner. And now, not only does he have open space in front of him. Okay, I still, I didn't mean to do that again. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. It's not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. On second down, it's Taylor. At the game of five, so he third and inches, I guess. Taylor, the ball carrier, pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? That is a game of one, but it would be enough to get the first down. And making sure they didn't get there. Kansas City Chiefs. First and ten at the 28-yard line. They go play action with Wilson. Being chased out left. Oh, shoot. 
If he has enough energy, he can go. And he does. Oh, the defenders like are falling. After tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. It's a gain of nine. Brings up second and a yard. On second down now, it's Gibson. Game two of two. yards, good enough for a first. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I'll bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Jonathan Taylor, he's just going right that through the defenders. Inside the 10 now to the 9. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and now Taylor. At the nine-yard line. Now the stop will come inside the five at the four. Taylor. A five-yard gain there makes it first and goal. Chiefs. Taylor. And he'll be stopped about a yard shy of the goal. Three and we have about the one. We're trying to run in for it with Jonathan Taylor. A gain of three. Brings up second and goal. Oh, that yeah, was close. Not get him in as he stopped right I'm doing it again. This offense so far on third down, they've converted three out of five thus far. Jonathan Taylor, fifth touchdown of the episode. I'm just going to keep on counting until it, the streak stops. I guess it is fifth streak, too. To play in the Wait, actually, the no. It's just fifth of the episode. Wilson now. From the gun, he'll throw, escaping the pressure. Greg Olson. And he hits him in stride. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. That ball complete to Isabella. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. Over the middle, that's hauled in by Isabella. Gain of nine. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is. And Who's that? Each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Oh, it's good. Uh, I forgot his first team. Shoot. Succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Now they go screen. It's complete. I was not even now paying attention to the clock. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout. If they hurry, we'll see. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Wilson will throw again. Touchdown. Touchdown, Kansas City. I'm just going to skip this one. Uh -oh. They score. So the football will be at the 25 yard line as this offense gets set to take over. First and 10, Taylor now. And he's upended after a gain of two out to like, the 27. Oh no. The guy himself is and down. Was down. Come up on second and eight at the 27 yard line. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. They'll only get a couple up to about the 30. Ball carrier. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and make gifts and gifts? Oh, shoot. At least we get it back, but that's a loss of two. Wow. That ball is not free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Michael Dixon. Now here's Michael Dixon as he's so, on the punt for the first time tonight. It's a two-point game, and we're giving them the ball back. Oh, they have... Oh, right. We traded Julian Edelman to them. I remember that. On a return. I think we beat them, but I'm not sure. Dang it. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They'll run on first down. Taylor. Jonathan Taylor. Ooh, that's a big, that's a big 22-yard game. Taylor, a big 
chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. So a first Don't underestimate Jonathan Taylor. At the 47, seven yard line. From the gun, Wilson. What did you see there on the defensive side? What allowed that good size run? Well, they were in a cover two alignment, which means your two safeties are back away from the line of scrimmage. So if you can match up your blocking at the line, at the point of attack, there's usually some room, a big gap between that second level and third, and that's what they were able to exploit. Eluding the pressure right. It's caught on the right there we go. I was a little bit hesitant about that pass for a second. Inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Now a first and 10 at the 11. First down. Operating from the gun. Wilson, flush to his right. He'll run it. Get in there, Russell Wilson. A big uh, rushing touchdown. Oh, we got the two-point conversion. So now this three-point game now. They will have the football at their own 20-yard line. That is about to open on the right guess, side. Let me get And he's going to be taken down. But what if it is? Dang it. That was a big play. So that's an explosive play, a really explosive play that gets wiped out, and they have to start over after the battle. And he'll take this one only up to about his 13-yard line. Taylor in the ball here. It's a gain of three, and it'll be second down. The 13-yard line brings up second down from the gun. Wilson, middle of the field. It's Robinson. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. A gain of 10. Brings up third and six. The Chiefs on third down. Five out of nine thus far. This will be third and six. Operating from the gun. Wilson. Here we go. With a big catch. And he will have the Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I don't know if it's just me, but when I play, like, I, like, never throw game. to the second down. wide receiver. From the gun. Wilson. This one hauled in and again it's passer. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 45. Let's go. Trailing in the fourth this close of a game, that's a penalty you just can't afford. It's an absolute killer and it's one that drives coaches and teammates insane. They run with Taylor. And here he'll be brought down to the 35 at the 36. Taylor, the ball carrier. Tackle made there by Bilal Nichols. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. And he'll be upended at the 33. Game three, so he'll be 32. And guess what? He points up third down. The Chiefs right. on third down. They're hitting at 60%, 6 out of 10 thus far. Here it's third and two. With the main guy of the episode and today. And inside the Jonathan 20 before he's brought down. Carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Brings up second and seven. On second down, it's Taylor. And maybe a measure that was of never going to end good. There are two guys right there. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. Now obviously that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now. Just stop them, get to the get ball. There. That means it might not be T Higgins, I think, is a T. There could be some opportunities. T oh no. Key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. Well, it wasn't a big strike. Oh, wow. That completion put them in Thought really that was great first range. Down for sure. We have now fourth and inches. Yeah, it's not more than a half a foot. You know what I would do here? I you would always go for it. <laughs> I'm one of those guys. I don't know how it fits it. Breaker. Breaker. That's a big three yards right there. Five yard line. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. 
And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Brings up second and goal. Now Wilson. They'll set up the screen Touchdown. for Gibson. Antonio Gibson from Russell Wilson. Three yards or two yards, I don't remember. We get it back with two minutes so left. The football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. On first down, Taylor. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. All right, so it's two-minute one. We're up 36-33. Um, we have first and ten from uh, our own 41. We just need to get a good rushes. That's pretty good. Luckily, we have Johnson Taylor. He, after this game, he, after these two games, he could really try and he could really get rookie of the year, I think. Yep, all right. It's probably going to salt that game. Or, I don't know. Probably going to end the game there. In the action, a timeout here defensively. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. The give to Taylor. Yeah, he'll get this down only to about the yeah, most likely now. Now the Broncos will use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over second prior to this nine. upcoming second down play. Now a give to Taylor. Oh, five. Five that time and they'll be left with a third and about four. Now the question out. everyone's wondering, look at the clock, late fourth quarter, do they put the ball in the air here on third? I don't. I run the football and I tell my offensive line, no leakage up front. I don't want my running back hit as I hand the ball off to him. I don't want any type of an issue. But if I am going to throw it, quick throw out to the perimeter, maybe one of my best receivers running a quick slant or something like that. Getting every second I can. On third down, here's Taylor. And this right. effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. No. Now it looks like we've got a Bronco that's banged You're up on the kidding me. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrow. We try for the bit long field goal. Justin Tucker will caught. make it. It doesn't really matter. Actually, this. Yards out. 56. Yes, we win. 39 to 33 is your final score of the second game of the episode. We are, if the playoff picture right now, we will be in first. But I'll see you guys next week.